Please believe me when I tell you this. God is not an object you use. You see that? There are some of us, our gifts are dormant for a very long time. Very long time. That press in the spirit to activate you. Listen, it's an anomaly when you remain in the same spiritual level for a very long time. Something is wrong. And when you are rising, it's obvious. Everybody knows that there is a transition. Some of us are in the same position for a very long time because we are giving God barely enough. Welcome to Kingdom Mirrors TV. On this channel, we post edifying content for your spirit and daily living. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified each time we post. Thank you, stay blessed, and enjoy this video. From finding a vessel in you, don't rob God from finding a truly anointed vessel in you. See, let me tell you something. If you follow this rubbish people are doing of just visiting God's presence to come and receive breakthrough and prosperity and power and rush back, you will never find God that way. Please believe me when I tell you this. God is not an object you use. You see that? There are some of us, our gifts are dormant for a very long time. Very long time. That press in the spirit to activate you listen it's an anomaly when you remain in the same spiritual level for a very long time something is wrong and when you are rising it's obvious everybody knows that there is a transition some of us are in the same position for a very long time because we are giving God barely enough see that there are some of us our dreams have ceased our visions have ceased. Our encounters have ceased. Our passion for his glory has ceased. Listen, every time the experience you used to have with God ceases, something stopped it. It never stops by default. Are we together now? There are many of us, you used to see things before they happen. Right now, it has dried up out of nothing because you are trying to look for a wife or look for a husband. Hallelujah. Dry up. There's nothing there again. No power. No grace. All these things we keep making noise around it in church. One person falls down. One person falls down and we jump around. That's nonsense. There are higher dimensions. There are superior levels in the spirit. Beyond calling names and phone numbers. There is the spirit, not the gift of prophecy. There is the very spirit of it. The very operation of the prophetic realm. Where people receive testimonies of Jesus without you speaking any message. The spirit of prophecy. Men live with encounters they cannot explain. No matter how hardened you are, when you come into this atmosphere, something must surrender. That's what happens when his presence comes. You cannot change men by the excellency of persuasions. No. It doesn't work that way. The presence. That's what brings transformation. The presence. That's what brings change. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's only a price that very few desire to pay. Because we like things cheap. We like things easy anything that commits us we do not want we want results but we hate process or we want to be mightily used you want to stand and see the glory of god move around brother there is a price it's not a gift it's a reward it's a reward for diligence it's a reward for surrender it's a reward for total yieldedness i used to hear benny Hinn say it total yieldedness that's the price for the anointing. Total yieldedness. Not half-hearted yieldedness. How many musicians are here? You have not brought one song from the spirit. It's, it's, a, it's an indictment on your call. It's an indictment of, on your gift. 
there are melodies in the spirit like waves but there is a frequency with which your spirit must rise to and then you will capture these things the the level of the sophistication of your spirit is the level to which you will capture many of us our prayer lives have died gone cold gone cold gone cold you only pray until you feel tired see let me tell you why many of us our prayer lives are not effective we are only praying to justify prayer you don't pray for the purpose of touching realities in the spirit you see that yes you're at, you can pray and then after one hour or two hours you can say i have tried that's a different you are only praying to be better than somebody else but there is a way you come with a desperation and you pray that your spirit will make contact if that contact happens in 10 minutes you end if that contact happens in five hours you continue see it's not about religion but it starts with a desperation a desperation a desire the first message the Lord is communicating tonight is let there be a revival in your spirit man get back those mantles and those gifts wherever you threw them let those dreams come alive again because in those dreams are the puzzles of your destiny a little here a little there before the year runs out we're going to take a teaching on angels and the ministry of angels you see many of us have lost touch with spiritual reality is dangerous in this time and age to just move sensually that the limit of your perception is a three-dimensional realm you'll be a victim of too many things you've got to access a frequency that is higher than the material realm to supply you the strength and the illumination hallelujah i challenge everyone here there is more that god can do with your life if you will give him space god is not a boyfriend he's not a girlfriend he's not looking for an affair he wants a relationship a very serious one you give god an affair you will get nothing out of it if god is one of the many important things in your life believe me you will never find him believe me you will never find him listen listen this desire is not for men of god this desire is for everyone who wants God. Don't you think that this bias is for pastors? No, no. The spirit of man was designed to only find satisfaction in his presence. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Oh, Jesus, you're the cup. Nothing in this world will satisfy Jesus, you're the cup that will not dry Your presence is there Sing it just one more time. Your presence, Your presence is heaven, is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to Your me. church when i came to church i saw the sick heal when i came to church i saw lives change i want to transport that reality to my home to see your power as i have seen in the sanctuary 
there are things i saw in the sanctuary i saw the oppressed come and go back free i saw in the sanctuary that there was bread given to men i saw in the sanctuary that the exegesis of the word brought liberty but lord i should not leave church and go back to darkness therefore my home must change my home must change my job must My child must change. My child must change. My wife must change. My wife must change. We will never be the same. We've touched your grace. Our life must change. Listen. Spiritual hunger is proof of health when you are sick the first thing you lose is appetite listen very carefully you know a sick person because there is a loss in appetite so when you find out that your appetite for spiritual things begin to go down your passion for the house of god your passion for the word of god your passion for prayer your values your spiritual values the values upon which your character is built upon is a sign of an attack is a call for a retreat is a is a necessity for his presence there are many people just doing church preaching singing but the truth is that many people are not interested in God. Many people do not have the fire, the hunger. Spiritual hunger is not for men of God. It's a requirement for survival in today's world. You must be obsessed about something. There is a depth of hunger that I trust God to be planted in your heart today. Listen. That you will go back home and for some of you for the first time in six months you can wake up in the night and pray and say no devil will stop me again i didn't even know when i stopped the prayer i used to be serious but because i'm looking for a job a husband a wife my life must change, my life must change. your priorities you know you have met him when there is an alteration your pastor said something bishop when he came up he said god began to change let me tell you if you have the same relationship for a very long time it's proof you are not growing as you transit in your values there should be a need to begin to readjust because of the light you are seeing you say no i love this person but your lifestyle does not look like the current dealings of god and even though I love you, I'm about to climb the mountain. Servants, you can wait. Abraham told the people, they started together. But when they got to the top of the mountain, he said, you will only allow me to rise alone. My life must change. My life must change. That's what it means to know him. My friends must change. My friends must change. That's what it means to know him. My speech must change. My speech must change. If a man err not in words, that man is a perfect man. The capacity to speak like one who has been cultured by the word of God. So that when men say there is a casting down, you have been so cultured to speak and say that there is a lifting up. My thoughts must change. My thoughts must change. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. There is an understanding that must be formed in you so that you see life not from a cultural standpoint, not from a sociological standpoint you have brought on 
you have been brought under the influence of the cross and the Christ and you see things from that standpoint my sight must change my sight must change the eye is the light of the body the Bible says that if your eye be single then your body is full of light it is possible that you can allow your eyes lead you to things and places that can corrupt your Christian testimony this is what it means to be a Christian it is not just to open your Bible and close it no my work must change my work must change blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of the scornful the bible says but his delight is in the law of the lord and he says on that law he meditates day and night as a result he will be in the similitude of a tree that is planted not waiting for any season planted by the streams of water it yields his fruit in season and the bible says that his leaf does not wither It is not only your heart that changes your heart starts the journey but your entire person must change my message is this song this morning that you must desire to see his power and his glory as you have seen in the church let it not be a ceremony apostle joshua selman came that's not the idea the idea is i came to church and you go back and someone says sorry what happened to you you say church happened this is what happens when we come to church we don't just jump around and share the grace and go back church is not a nuisance to society it's a place of real encounter you carry the spirit that program failure around your life and people continue to predict your doom and they are right except that you came to church and here in church the spirit of god sets you free you return back home by evening your destiny helper has called you and they say what happened you say i came